Hi, in this video are 10 things I discovered about the Mustang that some YouTube reviewers failed to mention or maybe just did not bother to discuss further. Some reason could be a deal breaker but some could be why you should get one. These are my personal observations after owning two Mustangs, a Square Classic Vibe and a 1966 Fender Mustang. A possible deal breaker for me is number 6. Please let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Number 1. It is like a toy guitar. Yes, it's like a toy because of its size and thin body, which makes it a student guitar and this was the real intention of Fender from the start. But this is just a first impression. As soon as you spend more time with it, you'll realize that this is a real guitar, not only for students, but for everyone else. In terms of its playability, it can compete with any other guitar shapes. But every now and then, when I play my other guitars and go back to this Mustang, there's still that toyous impression, but it all goes away as little as uh, 5 minutes of playing it. Number 2. It is not for the beginners because of its complex mechanisms. It is difficult to change strings, adjust the action, intonation, which should be easy for beginners. Now, with the tremolo bar, you have to secure it with a screw and you need a tool for that unlike struts and other tremolo systems. For the action, you might also need a neck shim, which is not that easy to do. Unlike the Les Paul or Telecaster, it's very easy to do these adjustments. Number 3. Changing string is a pain. It's very difficult. Unlike other guitars like the Stratocaster, Les Paul, and Telecasters, which has a very easy way of changing strings, the Mustang is the opposite. It's just not that easy both in removing and placing in new strings. You need to go under the bridge of the cigar, which is troublesome. You can easily scratch off your paint. But sure, you can just insert it through, but the brake angle will be low, which can cause the string to slip through the saddles and could lose some of that precious vibrations. Number 4. It is one of the most comfortable guitars. It's very very comfortable. The body is small, lightweight, fret access is good, and the shape is comfortable both sitting and standing position. Number 5. The tremolo is a hit or miss. You really need to stretch the strings so it won't get out of tune that easily. You need to really properly set it up. It reacts very well and don't need an effort to use. Again, this is not for the beginner guitarist. Its tremolo is very different to any other guitar like the Stratocaster, Jaguar, and Jazzmaster. The mechanism is just very very different. Number 6. The pickup switching. It can be confusing and prone to accidental switching. You can't go quickly from the neck pickup to the bridge. You have to set the two switches correctly and plan your switching. If you are the kind of player that's constantly switching to different pickup combinations, it can be difficult and challenging. I'm glad that there are Mustang models with the three-way switch. Number 7. At the start, you'll be put off with the thin sounding pickups. They are single coils and very low output pickups, but this is not a downside. This is a unique property of this guitar, which I'll explain in the next reason. Number 8. You can get good tones out of it, but you really need to spend some time in adjusting your amp and pedals. Maybe having its own preset on your pedals and amp, but it is worth it. It will force you to learn the interaction of your pedals and amps. Try to boost it with just a little drive pedal or compressor 
and I assure you, you'll be in tone heaven. Number 9. Hard to find replacement pickups, especially on the used market. This could be because the Mustang is not that widely used like in Stratocasters and Les Pauls. Most likely, you'll need to get new ones from Fender, Fralin, or Seymour Duncan. And number 10. It'll make you feel cool. The weird body shape is definitely a plus. I have other guitars but every time I pick up the Mustang, I feel instantly cool. Like, really cool. I don't know why. To those who have a Mustang, please let me know if you feel the same or it is just only me. How did Leo Fender came up with it? Maybe just by downsizing the size of the Stratocaster or Telecaster. It's a very unique guitar for those who want a different image on stage or in the band or maybe just in your bedroom mirror. So the Fender Mustang is really a joy to play. I highly encourage you to try one. It's not just for beginner or a student guitar. But if you come to think of it, we are all students. Thanks for watching, enjoy your guitar.